Welcome to Bitboy Crypto, home of the Bitcoin, the largest and greatest crypto community in all the interwebs. My name has been everybody on this channel. I show you how to make money in crypto. Currently in Nashville, we had our meetup yesterday. It went phenomenal. Met so many cool people. Uh, right now, me and my family, fam, say what's up. What's up? Anyways, uh, we're about to walk into the uh, Colts and Titans game here in Nashville. Checking it out. And of course, be watching the Falcons game on my phone. Uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see a good game today. Let's talk about crypto. The last 24 hours have been absolutely insane. We saw giant news from Cardano yesterday <clears throat> that we talked about last night. Did you guys see that guy? He made a cameo. Uh, we talked about last night, partnered with Boost Mobile, partnered with Dish Network, uh, partnered now with Chainlink. Unbelievable. So really cool. Uh, but we didn't see good price movement from Cardano, from ADA. We didn't see good price movement from anything. Then over the night... Bitcoin dumped down to near 40, 40 to forty-one thousand dollars, and altcoins got crushed. There was basically nothing last night that was up. Nothing was up. Everything was down. And so, you know, it, it's just this kind of thing that's like, you know, are we going to dump below forty thousand? What's going to happen? And then, lo and behold, about one a.m. in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, we had a gigantic, almost two thousand dollar pump for Bitcoin, getting us back up to the $43,500 level. This gives us a lot better footing, number one, for the weekly close today, and number two, uh, you know, hopefully setting us on the course for success with Bitcoin. Now, September traditionally is one of Bitcoin's worst months, and I've tried to tell you guys that there, there shouldn't be a connection. There should not be a connection month to month uh, due to the four-year cycles. It, it would be more appropriate to, cut, to compare this September to September of 2017, but not necessarily September of last year or the year before that. So, you know, what we could be looking at, we may do, we'll talk about this a little more this week on the live stream. What we could be seeing for Bitcoin is an exact repeat of 2017. Instead of, you know, uh, fitting the timeline that I thought we were going to be on, maybe it makes more sense for Bitcoin to exactly mimic that four-year cycle. What would that mean? That would mean September a red month, and then that would mean green months for October, November, and December, followed by a brutal start to next year. So that could be what we're looking at. Uh, so you guys pay attention. This week's going to be very interesting to see where Bitcoin ends up. Uh, I think the first is maybe on Thursday or, or something like that. I don't know the exact day. Let's see if today's the 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I think Friday should be October 1st, according to my calculations. Uh, so does that mean that we're going to wrap up a, a bloody month here for Bitcoin? Or does that mean that maybe by Thursday we see some upward momentum and somehow miraculously end up with a green month? Hard to say, but I think that October is shaping up to be probably one of the greatest months in Bitcoin history. So let me know what you think. Drop those comments down below. That's all I got. Be blessed. Bitboy out.